Movie deals. We're going to go very quickly through movie deals because by the time you're getting movie deals, you should have an agent who can talk you through all of this. Um, basically, to understand movie deals, what you want to understand is people will um, usually come to you rather than you going to them. Um, I've only just been started to be able to go to people and say, here's this cool project. I'm going to put it up, um, you know, I'm going to be shopping it around. Are you interested? Um, and things like that. Um, and I still don't get very far with that. I was able to do that with Legion. Um, but Steelheart, I still, I had to have it published before they would even still um, buy the rights on it. So um, usually you'll wait till they come to you. Um, what you're looking for is the mighty option. We talked about options, correct? No, didn't we? Yeah, we talked about options. We talked about options. Um, they're going to option and license. Um, usually what option periods have been are 18 months, 18 months, 12 months. So it's a contract that says on execution of the contract, they pay you around, this is a really rough figure, 10% of the final buyout price. So um, Alcatraz was 500K, it was, uh, it was 35K. So it wasn't quite um, the 10%, the all right? Um, then 18 months, they get to sit on it and try and develop a film based on it. Um, so that, you know, the idea is they, they kind of own the rights, but they, they kind of don't. They're optioning them. You can't sell them to anyone else. They have this time to try and get um, things going and things like that. At the end of 18 months, they usually play the same amount again. Um, and then our, at the end of that 18 months, they usually play like a smaller amount. Um, for a smaller period. And that's what it was for Alcatraz, 35, 35, 25. Um, on Alcatraz, these two went against the 500K. If they ever made the movie, they would pay me the remaining, and the 25 didn't, for whatever reason, OK? Um, so this is how a movie deal works. You get paid um, 35,000 or whatever. Like if, you're, if your movie is going to be smaller budget, it'll be smaller. A lot of movie options are like 7 or 10K or 1,500. So then if they option these, basically what they're saying is we're going to see if we can't develop this into a movie. But if yes. they have a development to a movie, then you get your... Yeah, you get the rights back. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they, at any of these points, can decide not to pay anymore and just, and just not re-up. At which point then you have the option of... Selling it to someone else. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you also decide not to re-up after... No, I don't think you can. I don't think that you can. It depends on the contract, but I'm, I believe you can. Um, I'm having real trouble getting the money out because this is my first one. I'm like, ooh, now. But um, I think on Legion, um, um, on Legion it was less. On Legion it was it was it was like twelve or something like that, and then like seven and seven or something like that. But then on Legion it was there was an episode payment. If an episode gets made, you make like ten more for every episode or something like that. It, it was some structure. I don't know what the actual money was. Um, but that was, for a, that was a television deal. So on that one, the idea is that you don't get paid a lot unless it gets turned into a show, and then they do 13 episodes, and then suddenly you've made a lot, right? Um, so, so that's what you're looking for on that. Um, so basically, this is the money you're going to get. If they promise you anything more, you're probably never going to see it, all right? Um, if they promise you a percentage of the profit, movies don't make profit. No movie in the history of movies has ever made a profit uh, because of what they call Hollywood accounting. Google Hollywood accounting, they'll talk about it. Um, the idea is that they owe their investors all this money, their investors being the parent co corporation or things like that. And since they can never pay them back everything they're owed, guess what? The money, movie never makes any money. This was spoofed in the, um, in the, the, the movie The Producers, which kind of did this uh, play on this. None of them. No movie has ever made profit. Nope, nope. This is nope. This is why the um, the writer of Forrest Gump sued them because he was promised a percentage of the profit, and the movie didn't make any profit. Go read up on that thing. Um, what happened with Peter Jackson? I don't know the specifics, so um, you can't really quote me on this. But what I understand what happened with him is um, New Line. Um, was required to pay him a certain percentage of the money made off the DVD sales. And so they made a, a dummy company and sold them the DVD rights for like a penny, 
no, probably not that, but like, you know, 100,000, and then paid him his money based on that, and then the dummy company went and sold it for 35 billion or whatever it is that it made, and he didn't get anything off of that. That's why Peter Jackson was saying, I don't know the details. That's the scuttlebutt, but that's, you know, um, yeah, who knows if that's true or not. But, so, you will not see any more money on that. There are some, some ways to get a little more money. One is the screenwriting. If you are um, good at screenwriting, you can make it for, you're required to met, that you write the first draft. They will throw it away, but they will pay you a certain screenwriting fee, which is mandated by the Writers um, Guild um, in, in uh, California. If you do this, you will have to join the Writers Guild, the union. Just be aware of that. But then you will get the fee that they are required to pay you, which is actually fairly substantial. Um, so another thing is you can do, you can get a producer credit. If you get a producer credit, they can, you can, they can be forced to you know, pay you whatever to be a producer, and then your name gets listed as one of the producers, and then um, they hope you never show up to use the chair they're required to have for you on the set or whatever. <laughs> um, but you can get that. There's all sorts of things like this. Um, nobody gives a percentage of like, the merchandising anymore, ever since Lucas got him on that one. Um, but but the, you can fight over it and get like one half of 1%. Um, you can get bonuses if you say, like, if the movie makes, according to Variety's reporting, it makes $100 million, I am required to get this extra payment if it hits this threshold. That you can do. But don't try to do anything for prof and make profit, okay? Um, when they sign this deal, you are giving away the rights, okay? Hollywood won't buy it if you're not. You are making a deal with hopefully very nice people who represent the devil. Not necessarily the devil, but maybe, you know. Um, that means that you have no say in what they do. You have no, you will not be able to light merchandise, a lot of your merchandise after that. T-shirts and things, you are selling to them the rights to do all of this. Um, they can make as many sequels as they want and they will pay you less and less for each of the sequels. Because the argument is, once the film has been made and is making money, it's no longer your success that is driving people to see the sequels, it's the success of the original film. So you will make less and less. So if those sequels are based off of an actual yep. book in the series, is mm -hmm. that still how okay? it Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's that? Yes, you, they won't buy it without the series. Unless you're really powerful. J.K. Rowling might have been able to do that or something like that, but yeah. They're not gonna buy this. Remember, how Hollywood is, Hollywood is a crapshoot. They're trying to make some films. The ones that flop are paid for by the ones that are successful. If they can't then take the successful ones and make sequels after them, off of them, which are the sure things, that's where they actually make money, then they are not going to buy the rights. It's not worth it to them.